Hey guys, I'm Sir John, celebrity makeup artist. I'm here with my beautiful model, Olivia. Hi. Hey, Olivia. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take her look from a basic eyeliner into an alternative cat eye. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna give her massive amounts of mascaras. So the mascara I'm using today is L'Oreal Paris Lash Paradise. And this is my jam because it gives you a ton, a ton of separation and a lot of volume at the same time. Chin back and look down, perfect, close your eyes. So what you wanna do is you wanna get in the habit of wiggling back and forth at the root, almost like you're brushing your teeth, back and forth and then up. So that gives you a lot of separation and it delivers the product to the lashes. Also what I like to do is I like to go on the top of the lashes. And this may be a little difficult at first, but you wanna get in the habit of coating both sides of your lash. It makes them so much more impactful and really, really dense. Open. Genius. So I'm gonna give Olivia two or three coats of mascara because I really want some intensity to happen around the eye area. This is really good mascara, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's like so, so, so good. I'm a big fan of making sure that the hair on the face is impeccable. When I say the hair on the face, that means not a mustache, but lashes and brows. They're so impactful and they also convey a sense of youth to their face. If you look at pictures of yourself from maybe when you were like five, six, seven, eight, you have big bushy brows. But as we get older, as we get a bit more mature, some of that density we lose. And it actually kind of looks like you're aging. So go in there and give yourself a fuller brow, more mascara, bring more of that hair back to your face. Okay, open. Major. I might even go back for one more when we're done. <laughs> so I'm using these small cotton buds. So you see how small these are? These are like my best friends. These are like magic erasers. They're really, really easy to use. And I love them because I give people really even wings by shaping the eyes. They're great for shaping the lips. And look, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, a little bit of saliva is the best makeup remover and it's great for any touch-ups on the go. So these are great to keep in your purse. Okay, so one little hack I like to have is if you don't have a lash curler, or sometimes your lash curler gives you such an aggressive bend. So I take my fingers and close your eyes for me and bend them. So we're giving her like a very soft, subtle curl. You can do this like four or five seconds while your mascara dries, if you have time. If you don't have time, it's okay. Open. Mage, so it opens the eyes up a lot. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a liquid luminizer that happens to have a waterproof or a long wear sensibility, and then we're gonna mix a gold pigment with it. I'm gonna go directly onto the eyes with this beautiful gold lacquer we have. See how gold that is, isn't that cool? Wow, that's beautiful. And this is so easy to do. You can do this in the bathroom, at work, on your way out or whatever, and it takes no time at all, but it brings your look up a notch. And so no winged eye is gonna happen with one stroke. Since it's three-dimensional, try to do three strokes to give yourself a really beautiful lateral line. So just say if you were doing this by yourself, I want you to lean your head chin all the way back, keep going, keep going, keep going. But you see how flat your eyes are now? Yeah. That's how you can do your eyes in the mirror by yourself if I wasn't here. That's how, you, that's how to do it, perfect. Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. I'm definitely gonna take a little bit of the luminizer, the one that I used before I mix it with gold, and we're gonna tap it on the side planes of the cheeks as a highlight. We love a good highlight. If you notice, I'm using my ring finger because it's the weakest finger you have. It's gonna pick up the least amount of product. It's not aggressive. It's okay to make mistakes with liner. So these don't have to be twins, they just have to be sisters, as long as they're going to the same party. So what we're gonna do is I'm taking it, these cotton buds again, and I'm using these just to give myself a bit more precision on the line. If you're in a hurry, don't be afraid to tap a little bit of powder just to help this pencil or pigment set itself. This sort of gives me like Elizabeth Taylor Cleopatra vibes, in a sense. It's very Egyptian. Fun. I like this. So for the lips, we're gonna do super minimal lips. I'm using a tinted lip balm and a lip liner. But I don't want them to bring the attention to themselves. I just want them to sort of be magnified a bit more. So 
So the goal with this lip liner is more or less just to perfect the shape of the lips, not to offer color. Okay. And so you remember that mascara coat that I told you I'm coming back for? I'm gonna do it now. I just wanna make sure that there was no gold that fell onto the lashes that may take away from the look. Perfect. And we're done, that's it. How do you feel? So beautiful. <laughs> you look beautiful too. I love this look, I think it's really easy. And this is great for minimalists to transition from work to evening. So I wanna see your comments. So put your comments below and let me know how do you feel about the look as well. All right, cool, okay. awesome. Five.